Hey friends, welcome back to College Sports Corner. I'm Barry. It's Friday. We've made it to the weekend. Looks like we got a pretty good week five coming up. We got some a lot of good games and hopefully we'll have some upsets. You know, these last four weeks have been really good and it keeps continuing. Hope it'll continue through to tomorrow. Um hey, if you like the show, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. We do the show twice a week. Uh, we're just here to have fun and you know, discuss the information. All right, so let's get some news and headlines. We've got a couple of basketball items up first. NCAA decided it's going to start calling the women's playoff tournament March Madness. Um, why they never did from the start, I don't know. That's not my department, but they have a March Madness just like the guys do. So anyway, it's official now. Next year, you will see March Madness on the women's college playoff floor. Uh, Clemson gives their men's basketball coach Brad Brownwell, Brownwell? Yeah, two-year contract extension. I guess they're happy with what he's doing over there. Uh, Air Force, Colorado, Boise, and San Diego State all say they're staying put in the Mountain West Conference. And they said, thanks, but no thanks to the AAC, which I'm happy about this because Mountain West plays pretty good football. And it'd be a shame to break that up. They've always got good teams and good games playing in, in that conference. So, uh, for one, I'm happy they're staying. Uh, okay, here we go. The National Labor and Relations Board now says college athletes are employees of their universities, and they cite the new NIL rule as basis for their findings. So, terrific. What's that? Unions coming up next? Player strikes? I mean, this whole NIL thing, I've always thought it's going to be, some, it's going to be trouble coming from different angles, you know, whether boosters or whatever. Um, I'm all about college athletes getting money because they should. I think now or before NIL, I thought they got a little bit of money out of some funds, some spending money, but it wasn't enough. And as we all know, everything in the world goes up except the paycheck. So, I mean, prices keep, gas goes up, everything goes up. So they should get more than they get. But this whole NIL thing, I mean, I don't know. We're just going to have to see watch this thing for the next couple of years to see what happens. But I don't know, just something about it. All right, hey, some good news. Louisiana Monroe quarterback Rhett Rodriguez is out of ICU and back home. He had a lung injury in the game last week, and it must have been a pretty hard hit to get a lung injury. So that's good for him. He's back home. Uh, Georgia quarterback JT Daniels expected to start tomorrow against Arkansas. He's dealing with a lat muscle injury, but Kirby Smart said he's probably going to start. And once again, college football playoff committees jerking around college football fans again saying there's a lot of complex issues and things we got to get straight before we can expand. Um, I got an idea. Quit being stupid. Go talk to your buddies at the FCS and see how it's done. Because they do it great every year. So I don't, I don't know what you're screwing around with over there, but a bunch of old men that got nothing to do but sit around and shoot the shit, I guess. I don't know. Uh, last night, Virginia beat Miami 30-28. to Miami tried to kick a last-second field goal as time expired, but it bounced off the left upright. Uh, the woes for Miami continue. I don't know what's going to happen there with Manny Diaz. I don't know how much longer they're going to be patient with him. But anyway, uh, Virginia had 268 passing yards, 181 rushing yards, and 449 total yards. And Miami, Miami ended up with 203 passing yards. 169 rushing yards, and 372 total yards. All right, Friday night, we've got a couple good games tonight. Uh, first game tonight, 7.30 Eastern, ESPN. Houston 3-1 at Tulsa 1-3. Cougars have outscored their last three opponents, 117-27. to Their offense is really coming on. All right, 8 p.m. Eastern on FS1. Iowa 4-0 at Maryland 4-0. Hawkeye's offense has started off kind of slow and sluggish the last few games. They need to get that fixed. Uh, I was averaging 293 yards a game, and Maryland is averaging 519 yards a game. So this could be a game that Iowa finally loses. We'll see what happens. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network, BYU 4-0, Utah State 3-1. Uh, BYU is averaging 385 yards a game. Utah State is averaging 533 yards a game. Uh, these two teams, they're close to other stats. It should be a pretty good game. All right, your Saturday, your uh, preview shows. Game day is going to be an Arkansas-Georgia game. 
SEC Nation is going to be at Ole Miss, Alabama. Big Ten tailgate will be at the Ohio State Rutgers game. Fox Big Noon kickoff is going to be at Michigan and Wisconsin. Uh, as far as ACC and Pac-12 networks, I'll always look to see what I can find. I did find something at the beginning of the season that only announced a couple, two or three weeks. And since then, I haven't been able to find anything. So I guess if you want to see if they're somewhere, you just have to tune into those channels at the right time. All right, I think this is probably one of the biggest ones tomorrow. Uh, noon Eastern on ESPN, Arkansas 4-0 and Georgia 4-0. Um, I don't know why this isn't a primetime game. I've seen in the past that networks, when the game turned out it was going to be a really big game, have moved it from at least the afternoon up into the primetime slot. I think that happened with LSU and Alabama back in 2011. I think it was them. But why they don't do it, I'm beyond me. Damn the powers that be, huh? Uh, Arkansas is averaging 480 yards a game. Bulldogs are averaging 454 yards a game. Um, Arkansas rushing game is better, but the Bulldogs passing game is better. Let's go see which one's interesting and comes out on top. Uh, Noon Eastern, Big Ten Network. Charlotte 3-1 and one at Illinois 1-4. and four. Boy, it's, it's, Illinois has lost four in a row since they beat Nebraska. And that, that win seems like decades ago, doesn't it? 49ers averaging 447 yards a game. And Illinois is averaging 337 yards a game. Uh, Lion I have averaged just 12 points in their last three games. So that may be why they haven't won, huh? What you think? Noon Eastern, ESPN 2, Duke 2-1 two and one, and North Carolina 2-2. Two and two. Boy, would it not be a hell of a basketball game? Um, Tar Heels are up and down this year. You just can't figure them out. I mean, they go flat against Virginia Tech that last game. The next two games, they play North Carolina football, and Sam Howell plays plays to his you know top potential, looking like a Heisman candidate, and then they fall back down again. So it's just a hard team to figure out. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Uh, Duke is averaging 545 total yards a game, and North Carolina is averaging 507 total yards a game. Noon Eastern on ESPNU, Memphis 3-1 and one at, at Temple 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Memphis has a lot better stats in rushing, passing, and total yards. Tigers averaging 487 yards a game, and Owls are only averaging 332 yards a game. Noon Eastern on Fox, Michigan 4-0 at Wisconsin 1-2. Uh, from what I've seen, the Badgers play decent football. They're just not playing good enough, and especially going into Big Ten play. They need to do something over there. Um, you know, last time the Wolverines won in Madison was 20 years ago, 2001. That's crazy. Uh, Michigan's averaging 350 yards rushing a game, and Wisconsin's only allowing 23 rushing yards a game. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Michigan leads this series 51, 17, and 1. That's that's incredible. But the Badgers have won the last two games. So, uh, Noon Eastern, BTN Network. Minnesota 2-2, two two, Purdue 3-1. This could be a good game. Purdue's playing pretty good. You know Gophers are pissed after losing the Bowling Green last week. So <laughs> these, two, these two are probably really going to be going at it. Uh, Gophers running back Trey Potts has rushed for over 100 yards in the last three games. Purdue could have a little quarterback controversy going on. O'Connell and Plummer are both playing good. Uh, I guess it's hard for them to figure out who's going to actually start and all that, but I guess we'll find out. Minnesota is averaging more rushing yards per game, but Purdue is averaging more passing yards a game. That's not surprising with uh, O'Connell and Plummer there. Noon Eastern, ACC Network, Pittsburgh 3-1 and one, and Georgia Tech 2-2. Two and two. Panthers need to watch out because Georgia Tech has been giving some people fits this year. Uh, but Pitt quarterback, Kenny Pickett, listen to this stuff. He ranks second in the nation in passing efficiency. He's tied for second in touchdown passes. He's fifth in completion percentage and sixth in passing yards. And uh, he's only got one interception this year. <laughs> so uh, Panthers are averaging 548 total yards and Yellow Jackets are averaging 386 total yards. Noon Eastern on SEC Network. Tennessee 2-2 two two at Missouri 2-2. Two two. Good SEC East battle. Both teams coming off a loss last week. Uh, Vols average more rushing yards per game. Mizzou averaging more passing yards a game. This is starting to become a trend early here. 
Uh, Vols averaged 423 total yards a game, and Mizzou is averaging 483 total yards a game. Uh, New Eastern on ABC, Texas 3-1 at TCU 2-1. Good old Southwest Conference hate there. Uh, it's probably going to be a good game. Both teams' stats mirror each other. Texas has just a few more in rushing, and TCU has just a few more in passing. Uh, Texas is averaging 488 total yards a game, and TCU is averaging 460 total yards a game. Noon Eastern on that uh, streaming service, FLOF, Fluff. Floof, whatever. Uh, Toledo, 2-2 two two at UMass, 0-4. UMass is averaging less than 100 rushing yards per game. That could be a big reason why they're 0-4. Toledo is averaging 382 total yards, and the Minutemen are averaging 305 total yards, which I'm guessing the majority of that comes from passing. Uh, Noon Eastern, CBS Sports Network. Western Michigan, 3-1 at Buffalo, 2-2. Two two. Uh, Broncos are averaging 395 total yards a game. And the Bulls are averaging 408 total yards a game. 1230 Eastern, no TV, which I'm trying to figure this one out. Louisville 3-1 and one at Wake Forest 4-0. I mean, that looks like it could be a good game. I don't know why it's not on TV. Okay, the average, average passing yards between these two teams is a 30-yard difference. The average, average rushing yards between these two teams is just a 22-yard difference. Um, Cardinals are averaging 423 total yards. Demon Deacons are averaging 431 total yards. Um, again, I don't know why this game isn't on TV. Oh, wait till we come up later in the schedule. There's one that is on TV, and you'll be like, well, why is this game on TV? So there's actually there's two games that should be on TV that aren't. So just hang on a minute. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Appalachian State 3-1 and one at Georgia State 1-3. and three. Mountaineers are averaging 476 yards a game. Panthers are averaging 313 yards a game. 2 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 North Showdown on the Pac-12 Network. No, 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 it's not Pac-12 North. What am I saying? Uh, south, I guess South. USC 2-2 two and two at Colorado 1-3. and three. Uh, Both these teams are disarrayed. Some people said last week that USC quit in that game, which... Uh, I saw the first half. I didn't see the second half, so I couldn't tell you personally what I think about it. But apparently a lot of people on TV and even uh, you know online are saying that USC just kind of gave up and quit that game. So I don't know. Uh, Colorado, their offense has seen better days. They've only scored three, 20 points in the last three, <laughs> in the last three games. Uh, Trojans are averaging 426 total yards a game, and Buffaloes are averaging 239. Uh, 2.30 Eastern, NBC. This could be a good one here. Cincinnati 3-0 and at Notre Dame 4-0. Um, I think we're finally going to find out the, 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 how good the Irish are and how good the Bearcats are. Um, Cincinnati's averaging 165 rushing yards, 255 passing yards, 420 total yards. Notre Dame is averaging just 80 rushing yards. 286 passing yards, and 366 total yards. These two teams have played once, way back in 1900, and Notre Dame won 58 to nothing. So I wonder if they, you know, I wonder if they had that score up there in the Bearcat locker room saying 1900, 58 to nothing, avenge, or they just don't, maybe some half the people there don't even know they played back then. I don't know. Uh, 230 Eastern ESPN Plus, Eastern Michigan 3-1. Northern Illinois 2-2. Two two. Eagles are averaging 377 total yards. Huskies averaging 390 total yards. Uh, 230 Eastern ESPN Plus. Louisiana Monroe 2-1 at Coastal Carolina 4-0. Um, big difference in averaging yards between these two teams. Uh, Monroe is only averaging 78 rushing yards a game. Uh, Coastal Carolina is averaging 250 rushing yards a game. Monroe is averaging 131 passing yards. Coastal Carolina is averaging 268 passing yards. Monroe is averaging 209 a game, and Coastal Carolina is averaging 518 yards a game. So, yeah. Uh, 230 Eastern ESPN Plus. Bowling Green 2-0, or 2-2, at Kent State 1-3. Uh, Falcons are only averaging 45 rushing yards a game. Kent State is averaging 237 rushing yards a game. Um, 
Average passing yards, Bowling Green has 222. Kent State is averaging 202. Total yards, Bowling Green is averaging 267. And Kent State is averaging 439 yards a game. 330 Eastern, ESPN Plus. Central Michigan, 2-2. Two two. At Miami of Ohio, 1-3. Chippewa is averaging 468 total yards a game. And the Red Hawks are averaging 344 total yards per game. 330 Eastern on ACC Network. Syracuse, 3-1 at Florida State, 0-4. Uh, Orangemen are averaging 392 total yards a game. FSU is averaging 387 per game. See, FSU is a decent team. They just had a couple bad luck instances. So, really, I think they should probably be 2-2. Two and two, But, you know, bad luck bit them in the ass. And here we are, 0-4. Um, Seminoles, they... Well, here's another reason here. The Seminoles, of course, they got whacked by Wake Forest. But the other three games, they lost by combined 14 points. So they play decent to good football. Like I said, this bad luck just keeps biting them in the ass. Uh, Syracuse is playing pretty good, too. Their only loss is only by 10 points. So remember, Syracuse, they've been down the last several years, and it looks like they might have a pretty good team. Uh, 3.30 Eastern, no TV that I could find. Florida International 1 and 3, Florida Atlantic 2 and 2. Panthers have 419 total yards a game and Owls are averaging 415 total yards a game. Uh, another big one people are talking about probably be a pretty good game. 330 Eastern CBS, Ole Miss 3 and 0 and Alabama 4 and 0. Uh, good old SEC West showdown. Rebels are averaging 299 rushing yards, 337 passing yards. And 635 total yards a game. Tide is averaging 152 rushing yards, which is crazy coming from an Alabama team. 314 passing yards a game and 466 total yards a game. Uh, Bama allowed 440 yards of total offense against Florida. And that 635 total yards offense for the Rebels is number one in the nation. Uh, Alabama leads the series, though, 55 to 10 to 2. So they've had their number for a long, long time. Uh, three thirty Eastern FS one Nevada two and one and Boise State two and two. Uh, both teams like an aerial attack. Both average under hundred yards rushing, but in the passing game, the Wolfpack averaged three hundred fifty three passing yards and Broncos averaged two hundred eighty three total passing yards. Uh, three thirty Eastern ESPN three Ohio zero and four at Akron one and three. Ohio's averaging 313 total yards, and Akron is averaging 339 total yards. Um, Ohio 0-4. Uh, Frank Solich, you know, he left for health reasons, I think it was. And I, I wonder if he was still there, if he wasn't having health problems, he was still coaching what their record would be because he did a pretty good job there at Ohio after he left Nebraska. So it just makes you wonder. Uh, here's another big one. 3.30 Eastern on Big Ten Network. Ohio State 3-1 and one at Rutgers 3-1. and one. Rutgers, since joining the Big Ten in 20 and four, 2014, are 0-7 against Ohio State. They have never won a game yet. Now, Rutgers has been uh, not too good the last several years. So maybe they're finally getting it turned around. They'll start giving Ohio State a game. Um, Buckeyes average 222 rushing yards, 337 passing yards, and 559 total yards. Uh, Rutgers are averaging 156 rushing yards, 195 passing yards, and 351 total yards. Uh, Scarlet Knights are seventh in the nation, though, in scoring defense. So they got something good going there also. Uh, 330 Eastern on Fox. Oklahoma, 4-0, and in my opinion, lucky to be 4-0. At Kansas State three and one. I say that because if you've been watching or catching their highlights, they've been flirting with losing all year. Almost happened at Tulane. Damn near happened with Nebraska. It's like they want to lose, but something at the end screws it up for them. Oh, you know, it's crazy. Uh, Wildcats and they Kansas State has beaten OU the last two times. So OU is averaging four hundred forty four yards a game, and Kansas State's averaging three hundred forty six yards a game. And being in set Kansas State and the way OU's been playing, the Kansas State might make it three in a three in a row over the Sooners. 
330 Eastern at ABC, Oregon 4-0 at Stanford 2-2. Since 2009, each team has won six in this series. Um, Ducks defense, they got 13 takeaways this year. That's not too bad. Uh, Ducks are averaging 206 rushing yards a game, 217 passing yards a game, and 423 total yards a game. Uh, Cardinals are averaging 113 rushing yards a game, 235 passing yards, and 348 total yards a game. 230 East or 330 Eastern on SEC Network. Troy 2-2 two two at South Carolina 2-2. Two two. Uh, Trojans are averaging just 75 rushing yards a game, but 270 passing yards a game, so 345 total yards a game. Uh, Gamecocks are averaging 129 rushing yards a game, 193 passing yards, and just 322 total yards. If they got those averages up, they might be a little bit better. 330 Eastern ESPN Plus, Tulane 1-3 and three at East Carolina 2-2. Two and two. Tulane is averaging 156 rushing yards, 264 passing yards, and 420 total yards. Uh, East Carolina is averaging 131 rushing yards, 270 passing yards, and 400 total yards. Uh, another game that could possibly be good. 330 Eastern ESPN 2, Texas Tech 3-1 and one at West Virginia 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Red Raiders, they didn't do something about this though. Gave up 639 total yards against Texas last week when they lost. Um, Mountaineers, they only produced 247 yards against OU. Texas Tech is averaging 163 rushing yards, 298 passing yards, and 461 total yards. The Mountaineers are averaging 118 rushing yards, 248 passing yards, and 367 total yards. Um, 3.30 Eastern, CBS Sports Network, Central Florida 2-1, and, and Navy 0-3. Hard to believe Navy hasn't won a game yet. Usually in the past years, right now, they'd be 3-0 or 2-1. I don't know what the heck's going on there with Navy. Uh, Knights are averaging 252 rushing yards, 302 passing yards, and 556 total yards. Midshipmen are averaging 192 rushing yards, 64 passing yards, and 255 total yards a game. That could be why they're 0-3. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Arkansas State 1-3 and at Georgia Southern 1-3. and Arkansas State is averaging 455 yards a game. Georgia Southern is averaging 361 total yards a game. But the Red, Red Hawks, Red Wolves, I'm sorry, have a decent passing game. They're uh, going for 360 average passing yards a game, so... Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, ESPNU, South Florida, 1-3 and three at SMU, 4-0. Mustangs keep getting better and better. Get there, sir. Quarterback Tanner Mardesi, Mardesi, sounds kind of French. He leads the nation with 20 passing touchdowns. Last week against TCU, they ran for 350 yards on 52 attempts. Bulls are averaging 332 total yards, and SMU is averaging 550 total yards. So SMU is playing some really good ball here the last couple of years. 5 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, Army 4-0, and Ball State 1-3. Army is averaging 345 rushing yards, but only 70 passing yards, for a total of average of 415 total yards a game. Uh, Cardinals averaging 131 rushing yards, 187 passing yards, and 318 total yards. 5.30 Eastern on the Pac-12 Network. Washington State 1-3. At California 1-3. Two struggling 12 Pac-12 North teams. Uh, but the home team has won the last five in this series. So California might add another win to that column. If that holds true this week. Uh, Cougars are averaging 119 rushing yards. 236 passing yards. And 355 total yards. Cal is averaging 168 rushing yards, 273 passing yards, and 441 total yards. Uh, Cal leads this series 48 to 28 to five ties. Uh, there's another one people are saying or it is an interesting game that might be pretty good. 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Florida 3-1 and one at Kentucky 4-0. and uh, Under Mark Stoops, though, Kentucky is 1-7 against Florida. Gators averaging 300. 23 rushing yards, 218 passing yards, and 541 total yards a game. Wildcats are averaging 202 rushing yards, 239 passing yards, and 441 total yards a game. Uh, they need to play a lot. Kentucky needs to play a lot better than it did against South Carolina last week. Um, 
That running back, Chris Rodriguez, he's pretty good that no one still seems to be talking about. Maybe they get him involved in this game a little more and see what happens. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Louisiana Tech 2-2 two and two at North Carolina State 3-1. and one. Um, La Tech could be 4-0 easily. They play good football. They just give a big lead to Mississippi State and lost on the last second touchdown to SMU. So, uh, Bulldogs are averaging 128 rushing yards, 269 passing yards, and 397 total yards. And uh, North Wolfpack are averaging 173 rushing yards, 265 passing yards, and 438 total yards. 6 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus, UNL. V 0 and 4 against UTSA 4 and 0. Uh, Road Runners they just keep winning. Rebels are averaging 119 rushing yards, 146 passing yards, and 264 total yards. Uh, Road Runners are averaging 176 rushing yards, 268 passing yards, and 444 total yards. 6:30 Eastern on FS2 Air Force 3 and 1 against New Mexico 2 and 2. Uh, Air Force is just four points away from being undefeated. That's how close they are and how good of a team they are. Uh, New Mexico is 41 points away <laughs> from being undefeated. So you see the difference there, huh? Four points from being undefeated and 41. So there you go. Uh, Falcons average 357 rushing yards, 88 rush, 357 rushing yards, I'm sorry, 88 passing yards, and 445 total yards. Lobos are averaging 130 rushing yards, 190 passing yards, and 319 total yards. Uh, 6.30 Eastern, ESPN 3, Southern Miss 1-3. at Rice 1-3, both teams looking for that second win. Eagles averaging 124 rushing yards, 143 passing yards, and 267 total yards. Owls are averaging 178 rushing yards, 178 passing yards, and are averaging 356 total yards. Uh, another big one. Like I said, this is a big Saturday. 7 p.m. Eastern, ESPN2, Baylor 4-0 and Oklahoma State 4-0. Um, this seems to be a who's gonna be, who's the pretender, contender type of game. Uh, Cowboys lead this series 21-18. Pretty close numbers there. Bears average 271 rushing yards, 219 passing yards, and 490 total yards. Cowboys averaging 144 rushing yards, 229 passing yards, 373 total yards. So, looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, let's see. 7 p.m. Eastern, FS1. Kansas 1-3 and and Iowa State 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Iowa State would be a better team than Jayhawks are. But Jayhawks are averaging 143 rushing yards, 195 passing, 338 total. And Cyclones are averaging 156 rushing, 256 passing, and 411 total yards. 7 p.m. Eastern, CBS Sports Network, Liberty 3-1, and one, UAB 3-1. and one. Another one, if you don't watch it, keep an eye on the score. It's interesting to see what happens in this one. Uh, Flames are averaging 185 rushing yards, 234 passing yards, and 419 total yards. Blazers are averaging 160 rushing yards, 223 in the passing yards, and 383 total yards. 7 p.m. Eastern SEC Network. Mississippi State 2-2 two two at Texas A&M 3-1. Both teams got a lot of mistakes they need to fix. We saw that last week. Uh, Aggies definitely need to get better quarterback play along with better O-line play. There's, there's a few times last week when Arkansas rushed three and they couldn't stop that. I was like, what the hell is this, man? Come on. Um, Mike Leach is 7-4 and four all time against A&M, going back to his Texas Tech days. Uh, Bulldogs are averaging 63 rushing yards a game, 364 passing yards, and 427 total yards. Aggies averaging 169 rushing yards, 227 in the passing yards, and 396 in the total yards. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, no TV I could find. Marshall 2-2 two and two and Middle Tennessee 1-3. and three. Thundering Herd is averaging 170 rushing yards, 382 passing yards, and 552 total yards. Blue Raiders are averaging 72 rushing yards, 275 passing yards, and 347 total yards. 7.30 Eastern at ACC Network. Boston College 4-0 at Clemson 2-2. Um, remember this game last year? 
it was the game, one of the games that Trevor Lawrence was out with COVID. Boston College, they came close to beating them. They only lost by six. They're in Clemson. So, as good as Boston College is this year, and as bad as Clemson is this year, I wouldn't be surprised if Boston College gets that win. Um, here's some crazy info here. Clemson ranks last in the ACC, okay? In the ACC, they rank, they rank last in total offense, yards per play, passing efficiency. Uh, when was the last time you heard Clemson having that bad of a time in their conference? <laughs> Uh, they're, and their rusher, I guess he's leading rusher, Will Shipley, he's out. Eagles averaging 223 rushing yards, 194 passing yards, and 417 total yards. Tigers are averaging 126 rushing yards, 169 passing yards, and 296 total yards. All right, 730 Eastern on ABC. Indiana 2-2 two two at Penn State 4-0. Uh, Indiana's another team I thought would play a lot better. I don't know what, what's happened there. Um, Penn State, though, you know they're looking to avenge last year's loss against them. Against them. Uh, Nittany Lions lead this series 22-2. and two. Hoosiers are averaging 136 rushing yards, 228 in the passing yards, and 364 in the total yards. Nittany Lions are averaging 116 rushing yards, 308 in the passing yards, and 424 total yards. 7.30 Eastern on Big Ten Network. Nebraska 2-2 two two at Northwest, no, Northwestern 2-2 two two at Nebraska 2-3. Two uh, like I said before, Nebraska's playing good football. They're just making too many mistakes and penalties. Uh, they're just a few mistakes and penalties away from being 4-1. Maybe even 4-0, oh, who knows. Um, however, their O-line needs a lot of work. A.J. Martinez was sacked seven times last week. Wildcats uh, averaging 212 yards, rushing yards, 174 passing yards, 386 total yards. And Cornhuskers are averaging 198 rushing yards, 275 passing yards, and 473 total yards. All right, so here we go. 7.30 Eastern, ESPNU. This is one of those games, I'm like, why is it on TV? But like I said, it's not my department, beyond my pay grade. UConn 0-5 at Vandy 1-3. Huskies are averaging 95 rushing yards a game, 125 passing yards, and 280 total yards. Vandy is averaging 122 rushing yards, 162 passing yards, and 285 total yards. Uh, remember, why is this game on TV? We'll talk about that here in a, in a couple seconds. 7.30 Eastern, BTN Network. Western Kentucky 1-2 at Michigan State 4-0. Hilltoppers are averaging 81 yards rushing, 426 passing yards, 507 total yards. Sparty's averaging 216 rushing yards, 238 passing yards, and 454 total yards. Uh, I don't see any reason why Spartans shouldn't move 5-0 on this one. Okay, here we go. Remember what we talked about a couple seconds ago. This is going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus on their streaming service. Not TV, but their streaming service. Louisiana, Raging Cajuns, 3-1 at South Alabama, 3-0. Um, Raging Cajuns average 157 rushing yards, 272 passing yards, 429 total yards. Jaguars average 130 rushing yards, 228 passing yards, 258 total yards. Louisiana 3-1 against South Alabama 3-0. No TV. UConn 0-5 against Vandy 1-3. TV. I don't get it. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe who knows, maybe ESPN is smart. Maybe they're saying, hey, we can make money off of this game, so let's make people pay $6 to watch this game online. Maybe that's their reason for it. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me because, you know, money is the root of all evil nowadays, so. Still, should be on TV instead of the other one. All right, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, ESPN, Auburn 3-1, and one, LSU 3-1. and one. The question here in this game is, which Auburn team are you going to get and which LSU team are you going to get? Because they seem to be different teams each week. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, they both struggled, especially last week. Uh, which quarterback at Auburn is going to start? 
Uh, Auburn fans and even the media seem to have fallen out of love with Bo Nix. You know, it just seems like yesterday he was lighting up Oregon in that first game. Um, they've kind of gotten their affections toward LSU transfer TJ Finley. He played pretty good last week. So, and you know, it wouldn't be surprised me to go in the Baton Rouge and Finley was there. Maybe they're going to start him. Who knows? Uh, Auburn's averaging 257 rushing yards, 227 passing yards, and 484 total yards. LSU's averaging 80 rushing yards, 298 passing yards, and 378 total yards. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, Pac-12 Network. Washington 2-2 two two at Oregon State 3-1. Beavers coming off that big win against uh, USC last Saturday. And I think I read that was the first time the Beavers had won in the Coliseum since something crazy like 1960, I think it was. So, anyway, good for them. Congratulations. Uh, Huskies are winning, but they still like they still don't look like their old selves. I don't know what's going on there this year. They're averaging 102 rushing yards a game, 288 passing, and 390 total yards. Beavers are averaging 226 rushing yards, 248 passing yards, and 474 total yards. 9 p.m. Eastern, ESPN Plus. Old Dominion, 1-3 at UTEP, 3-1. UTEP's been playing some pretty good football this year. Good for them. Okay, here we go. Late night college football owls. Here's our late games that we're going to stay up late watching. 10.30 Eastern on FS1. Arizona State 3-1 and one at UCLA 3-1. and one. That might be pretty good. Pac-12 South Battle there in the Rose Bowl. Um, Bruins quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson did hurt his arm at Stanford last week. So they're not, I haven't heard today is a Friday early afternoon if he's going to play or not. I haven't seen anything. Sun Devils, 212 rushing yards a game, 228 passing yards a game, and they're averaging 439 total yards. Bruins are averaging 194 rushing yards, 234 passing yards, and 428 total yards. Uh, 10.30 Eastern, no TV. New Mexico State, 1-4. At San Jose State, 2-2. Two two. Uh, Aggies are averaging 347 total yards, and San Jose State is averaging 332 total yards. And thank, our last one, thank you to Hawaii for having a home game this week so we can all stay up late until 2 or 3 in the morning drinking beer and watching college football. 11 p.m. Eastern, CBS Sports Network. Fresno State 4-1 and one at Hawaii 2-3. and three. Bulldogs average 125 rushing yards, 398 passing yards, and 522 total yards. Warriors average 145 rushing yards, 287 passing yards, and 431 total yards. Now, this game, for the first few games, you know, Hawaii, they moved out of uh, Aloha Stadium because it was falling apart and just wasn't in good shape into a stadium. I, I guess they redid an old stadium on campus, but no fans have been allowed to go and watch. I guess the governor or somebody said due to COVID and all that. So it'd be interesting if uh, fans are back in there this week. I don't know. I haven't heard or read anything, but. I guess we'll find out when we stay up late watching college football. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm done. Uh, man, y'all only got a few more hours left to work's over and the weekend's here. So, hey, y'all be careful. Y'all be safe. Y'all and y'all enjoy tonight and tomorrow. And we'll be back Tuesday to uh, wrap up everything that happened this weekend. We're doing news and headlines, and then we'll re review all the games. So. Y'all have a great weekend, and like I said, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a show, and we will see you Tuesday. Y'all have a great weekend.